welcome everyone to the first open meeting and it's really great to be together and um, I'll share a bit about my experience and also just the basis of the Balanced View training for those of you who are new. So I'll start with my own experience. From a very young age, I always looked for a sense of relief and stability and some kind of manageability with my own random <laughs> thoughts, emotions and sensations. I seriously took it upon myself to find something that will actually provide the relief and and clarity into what's going on there and why it's always changing. Have you noticed in your own mind, so to speak, the constantly changing display of positive thoughts and a minute after negative thoughts and we think that somehow we are responsible for that and as I grew up and read all kinds of things, spiritual or conventional or whatever, I really started to feel guilty for the kind of thoughts and emotions that I have because most of them were and still um, are negative, not the kinds of thoughts and emotions that I would prefer to have. So I came to across the Balance View training around 10 years ago, in, also in India, in Dharamsala, a friend kind of took me to an open meeting and I was impressed by Candice as the founder assurance in the video when I watched the video and I was like, okay, great, it's interesting. I, I, I felt like I know it already, so I wasn't taking it too much. But then I just kept listening to talks and something started to dawn. For almost three months before I met the, the community and training again, I just listened to talks which are available on the website and I started to see how the truth of what's being said is actually starting to pervade my own experience. And I find, found that I have a choice on how I can relate to my own thoughts and emotions where before I felt like a victim of the ever-changing display. And see just now, like in the couple of minutes that we are sitting here together, how many thoughts and emotions and sensations you had? Can we capture them, hold on to them, make them stay there forever or get rid of them? Everything self-releases like a line drawn in space. Tension, happiness, hangover from Christmas party or whatever self-releases, leaving no trace. And what's in the basis of all of that on what we can actually rely? So if we can't rely on the ever-changing descriptions of our mind, the, the content of the mind, what can we actually rely on? And this is what we call in Balanced View the, the nature of mind or open intelligence. And to be introduced directly to open intelligence, we can just stop thinking for a moment. And you can try it right here, wherever you are sitting. Stop thinking for a moment. And what remains when we stop thinking? There's a sense of alertness, cognizance, the power to know what's coming up just now. This is open intelligence, the basis of everything that appears. And when we, recognize as, re when we recognize it in this short moment of stopping thinking, that's the introduction to open intelligence. Not something that you receive after years and eons of practice, but on, in the first moment of introdu introduction to balance view, you get the direct introduction to the nature of mind. And it can sound simplistic or, or whatever you think, but that's it. That's what's looking. What's listening? This is open intelligence. And our intelligence is constantly opening like vast blue sky. It's not limited in any, any way. Usually we think that our intelligence is here and we are generating our thoughts, emotions and sensations. And it's like being in a, in a cage of descriptions. Whether positive or negative, we are stuck. And, uh, or wherever you feel it, uh, or assume that it's stuck somewhere in the body or so on. So when we stop thinking, we recognize this alertness and cognizance, and then all the thoughts, emotions, and sensations, they continue on. In Balance View, we call everything that appears in open intelligence data or data streams. 
And these data streams are inseparable from open intelligence. So whether we are thinking or not thinking, we can recognize the alert basis open intelligence in short moments, and this is the practice, short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until the instinctive recognition of open intelligence become continuous all the time. Short moments, not long moments of contrived efforting to try and reach to a special state somewhere in the future. I don't know if any of you practice that, but I tried many years to, from a very young age to achieve this special state that the special b people get into and it will be full of sensations and I will see only light and, and everyone will clap with every movement I make or every word that I say. But this didn't happen and I did achieve special states, but those special states, like any other data stream, disappeared after a moment or two and there were other descriptions like, oh, I'm such a loser. I've been trying so hard, but why I can't hold on to it. So if we are looking for our well-being and perfection and our stability in a refined, refined, refined description of who we take ourselves to be, we will forever fail. It's like being stuck in a hamster wheel. So this is straight talk and that's what I like in Balanced View and also the approach of the founder. Just saying, talking about reality as it is. We have a choice. We are not victims of our data streams. We have a choice to rely on open intelligence and allow complete relaxation for a short moment. And after that getting tensed and thinking, oh, what is he talking about? Who did I... You know, did I drink too much or, or I wish I had partied last night or whatever the thought is, there's a choice there to rely on the basis, alert basis of open intelligence. And that makes life so simple because we are no longer caught or gradually we see that we don't need to be caught in the ever-changing data streams, flickering. Yeah, flickering and self-releasing like uh, fireworks when we see the, all the many fireworks here in Goa. You know, there's a display and then it disappears leaving no trace. Same, look at your own direct experience and see if this is the case or not. Complete release, benefit. And it's not about just like our own stability. That's of course the beginning point for many of us. But it's really about empowering, once we are freed up from the need to micromanage everything to the details of, you know, positive, I'm allowed to think it, negative, I shouldn't think it or feel it on this, what my mother will say about that, and all, all the opinions we have about every appearance, there's complete relaxation and then this energy is released, this beneficial potency is released to the benefit of all. What does it mean practically? Not a contrived stance of I'm needing to always behave in a certain robotic way, in a contrived compassionate way, but just us exactly as we are, we are completely capable to be of great benefit in, by our own ex example, by allowing ourselves to be as we are. Then we start, to, for me, when I did the, the 12 empowerments, which is an incredible 12-part training, written training uh, by Candice uh, that we offer also here, my life changed completely. It was like I was introduced to open intelligence, I thought that's great, but then participating in this very specific training, looking at my own experience, seeing where I got stuck in belief systems and assumptions about myself and the world and including about open intelligence, how it limited my relationships with myself, with others, my family and friends. The 12 empowerment step by step just released all of this tension and so many data streams were resolved in such a short time. I was completely amazed. It was like, that's crazy, you know. I, I could have spent my entire life thinking about my relationship with my parents, for example. Why mom did this and that didn't do that or said this thing and blaming them for all my negative psychological issues and so on that could have continued forever until the moment I died and then in 12 days suddenly whoa my parents are great actually <laughs> they've always been there for me I could really start to see naturally the appreciation and care and that is just one example of one of the profound results of participating you know, reading these profound texts that evoke and elicit the instinctive recognition and also doing it in a group where 
others share their experience. So short moments of open intelligence. I could see that, wow, this is available everywhere. Whether I wake up with sadness in the morning and a sense of failure again, or whether I wake up with the sense of I'm the greatest being ever. Regardless, I have the choice to rely on open intelligence, to recognize the self-release and the benefit. So try a short moment now with the current data stream. Allow it to be as it is. What happens? It's just like that. We think that some data streams that are really important and we need to do something about them, otherwise they will be there forever. But think about your greatest issue in life and how many hours you spent and days and months and years thinking about it and trying to resolve it. And it's still coming up. If you're honest, if you have an honest look, usually it still comes up in one way or another. And, there's, and if not, there's the fear that it won't come up again, right? I remember after doing all kinds of processes about myself and arranging my data streams, I was like, oh, I got rid of that one, this scary monster. But then I had another data, a new one. It's like, I really hope it will never come back again. <laughs> and then obviously it did. So regardless of what we are thinking and feeling, we can enjoy complete stability. I can sit in front of you worried and anxious and angry and not to be affected uh, from it or by it at all. It really doesn't matter. It's like the metaphor that we use in the training when using these short moments, participating in the training, enjoying the community and being in touch with the trainers. We see that's the support network of Balanced View. We see that all of these data streams that we deem to be negative, positive or neutral are just like stars in the sky. And at night they are so visible, right? Especially if there's a power cut in, in Goa. We see everything, it's so visible, you know, we can define and describe and everything. But then a day, no, like noontime, the stars are still there but they are outshone by the, the brightness of sun. And this is exactly the gradual process that comes about with short moments of open intelligence. All the data can still be there. Nothing about us needs to change. But the brightness of our mind, the brightness of open intelligence just outshines all of these data streams. So regardless of what we have in our disposal in terms of thoughts and emotions and sensations, open intelligence, obviousness, obviousness is just more bright and bright and bright, brighter and brighter and brighter, gradually so. That's how we gain confidence in our own innate stability and perfection, natural perfection. No one has ever told me you are naturally perfect. I thought it's a hippie statement initially when I heard it, but to recognize it in my own experience, especially with negative state, it's the greatest gift. It's to really realize our most innate, fundamental human right. And I'm forever grateful for Candice and this training for providing such a simple, radical solution for shifting the switch, you know? Just a simple change in the use of our mind, effortless, effortless and so easy to implement wherever we are.